All right, guys, so today is April, April 3rd, and let's go get some groceries. So I did already look at what we had in the fridge. We were gone for a few days um, to see what we have, what we have to use up, what little things we might need at Kroger. I'm hoping that I'll go today and I won't need to go for a few days, but let's see what I can find. When I go to my local Kroger, I always check their clearance sections. They'll have canned goods, some like basic household products, but always look for those reduced stickers. It's normally about 50% off, and in this case, it was the same price as their regular eggs. So you're back from Kroger, and this is what we got. I did get a few things that were not on my list. Um, they did not have lettuce. They only had the organic lettuce, and I don't want to pay $7, so I just got this, and that'll be good for several days. I'll just put a paper towel, and then I flip it, and it lasts for a really long time. This was not on my list. These were on sale for 99 cents each, and yes, I can get a one pound bag at Walmart for 98 cents, but very change it up. My husband loves fettuccine, um, got a little linguine, some ziti, just kind of mix it up a little bit. The sour cream was on sale this week for $1.67 for one pound tub. And this will last us for at least a few weeks. We're gonna have tacos and snacks and things. Uh, milk was on sale for like $1.29. This will last us for a few weeks, so that's great. Pasta sauce was on my list. I got a couple, I got two traditional, two tomato and basil, and one six cheese. These were on sale, 99 cents. Cheapest I can find is like $1.12, and that's like the Hunt's brand at Walmart. Eggs. <laughs> Wonderful eggs. I found these marked down to $2.29. That is the same price as Kroger brand white eggs. I did check. These are all good. Um, their sell-by date is coming up, but I have plans for this for like breakfast, some baking, so we'll get through all of these. And then just our one little snack for the week. And then a single sad lemon for a lemon and basil recipe I will be making for this week. So this all together after coupons and sales, this was $30. All right, so today is April 8th and I went to three different stores. Start off at Aldi with just some bread, chips, some salad dressing. A little bit of radishes, grits for breakfast, milk, pretzels, and a quick stop at Costco. I just got some little nuggets, some hot dogs. And then I tried out a new store. It's called Gordon Foods. It's kind of like a Costco. But I got some bacon. They did a great price on lettuce, some lemons for dinner this week, and then just one single banana. I don't know how much this cost together, but I'll put those prices up on the screen. Today is April 8th, and I did a quick trip to the Dollar Tree. Got some mac and cheese, some cornbread mix, some chicken franks, and green beans for a dinner video idea. It should come out before this <laughs> does, and if it does, I will link it. Um, but this came out to $5. It is April 14th, and this is our tiny Walmart haul. We are about to go to town for two days, and I got some treats for the airport. I've got some other snacks in the pantry we're going to pack up. We got some bread to make sandwiches. Um, we got some tortillas just because we're all out. These are for next week, and we're going to have some pasta dinners, so garlic bread is just always nice and easy. And we might take one and make a pizza out of it. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna try something with these biscuits. So I've seen things where people take chicken pot pie mix 
and put biscuits on top. So I'm going to try that because I have that leftover chicken pot pie mix. I will let you know how that turns out. And then I just got one of these for some flavor in my water. I don't know what the total is because we did have to get some household items. Um, but I will figure that out and put it right at the top. All right, today is April 22nd and we did a really quick Walmart grocery haul. Just got some yogurt and some bread. I found these zero carb tortillas and they had dollar off coupons on it. So it made it cheaper than the generic. We're gonna do some sandwiches this week. So we just got some chips to go with those. And I'm gonna make some more lemon basil chicken. So definitely need more lemons. I got, got this just for a little snack for my son. Got some carrots for salads and some more lettuce. This has gone up almost like a dollar at my Walmart. <laughs> we are all out of feta cheese. So I got the big one, it lasts forever. Some ham for the sandwiches. Banana for my son's breakfast tomorrow. Hot dogs for really easy lunch or dinners. And then I got myself and my husband some Diet Pepsis. I'm not sure what the total for all this was because we got some household items with it too. But I will put that total up at the top. Today is April 27th and this cost $43. Went and got some bread, all out of chocolate syrup, some milk, and some heavy whipping cream. Decided to get ourselves some Diet Pepsi. We were all out of butter, ice cream, and some Hot Pockets for just an easy quick snack. And then my son saw these, so we got some Baby Shark mac and cheese. And again, this, $43. All right, so April went really, really well with groceries. Some things I noticed went up crazy high prices, like my lettuce going up about 40% in price, but I did get some really good sale items, some good clearance markdowns. So I was able to keep our grocery budget pretty low. I think we did really well with April groceries. Uh, just for reference, there are three of us. It is uh, myself and my partner, and we have a four-year-old son. So for the month of April, we spent $218 on groceries. We definitely did a lot of eating what we had, and there was a lot of travel this month. <laughs> Starting off the month, we came home from being gone for a week. Uh, we were in Florida for a week for my sister's wedding over spring break. Then a few weeks later, we went back home to do another uh, wedding celebration with my sister and my grandparents who couldn't travel for the wedding. And now as we're approaching May, I am leaving again for like 10 days for a baby shower and I'm gonna celebrate Mother's Day at home. So you see there's lots of travel and I'm going to be making a video soon kind of showing how I plan everything, which I think really helps keep our grocery budget as low as you saw. Um, so I want to thank you guys for joining me today. If you like this kind of content, give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, thank you to everyone who has so far. It means so much to me. You have no idea. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.